Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, if you would, please make sure that you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And also click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And what else? <laughs> I am here with baby Noah. Um, if you guys are new to this channel, Noah is the Willow Asleep um, by Claritella. He is the prototype number two. Um, so that means that he was totally completed by Claritella, sculpted, poured, painted, rooted by Claritella herself. And then um, there was an addition of 15 of this of blank kits went out where other artists um was able to paint them and give their own um their their own uh version of the the sculpt itself um so even i painted one um of this sculpt but not this one so um but yeah so i was sitting and i was thinking I was actually just sitting in the rocker and I was saying, um, I had like thinking like, oh, you know, I don't really do topic videos that much, but I was thinking of what I would talk about when I do this video because I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to get him changed out because, um, Nigel been changed out of his. And I still hadn't changed um, him out of his pajamas. And he's been laying across my bed for a while. That's why he's still in this little um, receiving blanket. But um, I was just thinking and, you know, back because I was, you know, just been enjoying a hobby a little bit more. And I've been, you know, just... Going back down memory lane, you know, when pictures pop up on Facebook, looking at, you know, the dolls that I've had in my collection and, you know, thinking about the different times and how things have changed so much in the community, but not just with the community, but with me, myself, and just a lot of other people in the community. And I've gotten to a point where I really don't like to do as many really like hot topics um, or, you know... I I look at how <clears throat> I like to say that I'm I'm the influencer and that I have influenced the community in several ways and rather it be, you know, you guys liking the type of dolls that I collect and, and like and you know and collecting similar dolls or rather you guys have the same views as me or um once you guys heard my perspective on certain topics, you guys were um influenced to think similar, et cetera, et cetera. But I really think more than anything, the community has actually influenced me and changed me in some ways that are good and some ways that are not good. And um, I'm just really excited to be getting, not necessarily that I want to go totally backwards, but just get back to the fun part of, you know, what I enjoyed and what I loved about the hobby. Um, I feel like now, you know, Although, you know, you, you want to be able to help people, you want to be able to share your knowledge and information and all that jazz, which, you know, that's fine. But I feel like sometimes you get so caught up in that, it just becomes like you become more like a preacher than a collector. Like you're constantly telling people what they should and should not do and all this jazz. And it just used to be so much more fun just to get on here and talk about the dolls, the doll experiences, the clothes, this and other. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to explain it to where it makes sense. Um, you know, over time, I just feel like things just have changed the way I think, the way I feel. You know, I feel like sometime um, I'm a little bit, I had become a little bit more standoffish because of the different um, experiences that I had had where you know, I've been burned or feel betrayed or, you know, stuff like that. Like, just really can change you 
But then there's also those moments where things where people have been so kind and caring and um, generous that you actually, you know, it makes you feel really good about being a part of the community and everything. But the community has changed big time. I mean, from, I don't know, it's just changed a lot. And it's changed me a lot. You know, I've tried to support certain people in the community. Sometimes you have to let that go. Um, you know, I've said, well, you know, I've always liked these people. Or I, you know, try to show support. And then, you know, out of whatever issues they have, personal issues they have with that, you know, I don't know. People people do things and it just, I don't know. It it just rubs you the wrong way and then you just feel some type of way. I'm looking at his little tummy wrinkling. And yeah. So, you know, I just feel like I guess I'm probably just saying a whole lot of nothing, but I just feel like we should just try as much as possible to, to come on and enjoy the hobby and contribute in a more confident, peaceful way than the negativity and stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, some stuff, you know, for laughs or whatever. And some, some people, I'm sorry, but you know, they really, really deserve some of the stuff that, that goes on that comes their way. But, you know, I guess, you know, people can say that about anybody. It's always funny when it's not you, right? I, um, I just really, I, I don't know. Noah is just such a sweet baby. I, I really, really am still just very much impressed with this scope. I'm still shocked that. Um, Claire actually allowed this sculpt to be a kit versus a doll because I really feel like this is more of her doll quality. Um, I've had her kits, many of her other kits before, and um, you know, no um, disrespect to her or whatever. You know, like I said, I, you guys know I love her and she, she's an amazing artist, but um, her kits definitely um were not the same as her um as her dolls in my opinion um the i mean they were always nice and definitely uh, artists of her caliber the um even her uh least popular kit um still stand out because I mean, she's just on a whole nother level with her sculpting skills and stuff like that. But, um, I don't know. I, to me, just, I just feel like the, the Willows just have that more of a doll. Something that I would have thought she would have did as a doll. But I'm so happy that she didn't. <laughs> um, because then we would have been talking about a different kind of um you know price range and all that stuff and many people wouldn't have gotten a chance to put their own spin on the sculpt itself because everybody likes different painting styles and just because something is my favorite may not be somebody else's favorite and so um i feel like the blank kits allow you know people to get their dream baby by their favorite artists or favorite, you know, that have the painting style that they like and, you know, just stuff like that. So, I don't know. I, I think variety is always good. But yeah, I was just really, really impressed with this sculpt. Um, you know, I, lo I love, like I said, I, I've loved all the babies that I've had from Claire Taylor. Um, I've loved all the babies that I've had from Mostly all the artists. I've rarely had a, a doll that I just absolutely did not like. And I think I've been pretty clear on 
the few that I have had that was like that. Um, come on, Stanka. You know, but you always like, you know, you in in this collecting thing, we always like, you know, you get that baby and you be like, oh, you know, I I I love this baby, but I wish you know this was this way, or I wish that was this, you know, that way. It's always like this one thing that that bugs you or whatever, whatever. So it's very hard and rare that you get a. A sculpt or a doll that you like everything about it you know for the most part you know what I mean so yeah so I like them I mean that's you know that's the thing like with Finn I really love Finn Finn is very proportionate um you know sometimes that's a struggle for certain artists but he's you know he's very proportionate and um I really, I really like that. Um, I've had, you know, have a lot of different sculpts. Um, I haven't really did a, I, well, I haven't did a video at all of my new baby, uh, my vinyl baby from Emily. Um, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but um, that baby is so beautifully painted and everything. I just, you know, I went through a phase where um I was buying a lot of a lot of dolls. I was be honest, up under a lot of stress and I do that sometimes. You know how people like stress shop with clothes and um designer bags and designer shoes and you know, um they take lavish trips and so on and so forth. Um I tend to sometimes buy dolls and um when I bought that baby because I've been wanting a doll from that particular artist for so long, um, I didn't really take in full consideration of which particular sculpt I would have wanted or anything like that. And um, I love the sculpt, but I think, I don't know, I just feel like I I've, wish I would have you know, chose just, I don't know, like, I don't know. I think it's more of just buyer's remorse <laughs> of just the spending, you know, the spending part because the baby is the most realistic painting, Caucasian baby I've had. And, um, the painting here is phenomenal. I've, I've had some nice painting painted hair, but this painting here is on a whole nother level, to be honest. Um, and I, I just really have nothing bad to say about her painting. And um, you know, the sculpt is a is Evie by Laura of the Eagles. Um, she does have the Ogar limbs on on her. Um, she was a buy it now, and. Um, yeah so yeah so um i don't know i feel like i'm gonna lose a lot of money now that i'm trying to you know sell it and i did basically you know like i said something that i normally don't do um and so yeah um i'm pretty bummed out about it because like i said the work is like phenomenal but um i do feel like i'm losing a lot of money to resell it and I just got it so I uh, won't do that anytime soon um it's just a lot of a lot of different little things that like I said your experiences you know just kind of really change things for you and kind of influence the way that you um react to different situations how you handle situations um I don't know. I just, I just think my my advice from my personal experience is to, you know, just move slow and steady. Don't jump all the way in, and you know, um, get yourself involved in a lot of stuff that don't pertain to you. Or um, 
try try not to lose yourself in the hobby. You know, the hobby is supposed to be fun and a, a you know a stress reliever, stuff like that. I didn't even feed this baby. I was supposed to feed him, um, but yeah. I don't know, a lot of rambling. Um, I'm gonna continue because I kind of got lost in thought. I think I kind of went to a downer point <laughs> as I started thinking about my money. But um, so I'll come back and give me just a moment. Let me regroup. <laughs>